So I got the XT25 here set up. I got a uh, T-handle I need to make. Um, I do this a lot at work. We just take and put your bar like a piece of pipe with an outlet. You put it down in the chuck like that and you know you can rotate it. I'm gonna go ahead and weld this here and then we got a fitting here on the other end we're gonna weld. Just gonna get a feel for this thing. Um, see how smooth it is. You know this is a small part so I think it's gonna be a good test just to get See how smooth it is on it. As you guys can see there, that thing, it's butter smooth. Very impressed. So we got this here set up on the other on the bigger positioner, the XT200 um, turbo housing. I got to weld this adapter to it. It's going to be a tricky weld to get around there on the back side, but I think we can get it for them. Um, what I ended up doing here is this is the five inch chuck I got for the XT200, and then this is my six inch chuck I had. I just clamped it in it. It seems to be fine. Seems to be holding it good. Um, so I'm going to take my time, go around there, and get this welded. We're going to see how this positioner performs. very hard to get back in there on this bottom side it's not going to be perfect but It looks like we got it. So guys, I, you know, I think this positioner is, I and mean, there's no heating. I mean, it's things everywhere. Ground's totally cool. Nothing's hot. Um, it's a good positioner. It's butter smooth. So I'm going to go through this today with you guys on how I'm going to set this Lima equipment positioner up, the XT200, to gas through purge on it. Um, the way I'm going to do this is we got a pipe thread to swedge lock connector here, a 90 I'm going to use. It's going to go in here that my argon is going to come into, and I'll show you guys how I set that up. And down inside, we're going to do the same thing here. Um, we're going to screw this down in, and we'll be able to take this off easy enough and put whatever, you know, if I want to run a hose on this, I'll show you guys, you know, we could put a hose on this. This will be down inside the positioner like so. And then we can put that in a piece. If we got like a 90 in here that we're welding or a 45 on a jig, we can put it right in here. I got a bunch of these made up that are all different lengths. So they're not getting tangled up in the positioner. But uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set that up. And then we're going to make some welds with it just so you guys can kind of see um, how good it's going to work out.
I ended up taking the chuck off there just to make it a little easier. Which it comes right off. Um, and basically, this is going to go on there. We might come up with something to get it up a little bit higher. Need to come up with a quick connect here. You can see there how smooth the positioner is and how good it works. We're going to go ahead and set up a piece of 5-inch um, here I have in this, in this one here and see how it does on that. We got this 5-inch stainless. It's just exhaust pipe. It's, it's actually 3 or 4 stainless. Um, got my TIG Aesthetics purge plug in it. I'm going to get it on there. These purge plugs sometimes are hard to get on that tubing. All right, let's give this one a go. You guys can see there, I mean, that, that welded really good. That thing is butter smooth. Um, I'm impressed with it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this up. We're gonna run, uh, since you guys have seen this one work and how good it works with the gas screw and everything, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run out a couple aluminum ones on the uh, XT25 now. Got a good root in there. I mean, it just laid on there so nice. Um, that positioner is so smooth. I know I've said that about a hundred times today, but I'm just, I'm impressed. I mean, you guys can see that welded really good. Roots in there really good. Um, I'm very impressed with that positioner. I, 
I'm gonna go ahead and run another one of them out just because that one welded so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and set another one up here and we're gonna run another one out just for fun and go from there. That one's in there nice and good, full penetration. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here in a second, but uh, you know, I'm gonna send, I gotta talk to him and see what we're gonna do, if I'm gonna purchase one of these off of him or not. Um, I, I mean, I'm definitely gonna do, I'm definitely gonna purchase one of them. I think the XT200 for what most people are doing is, you know, the positioner to go with. Um, but I also feel if you're not doing any stainless and you don't need a gas through purge set up, um, I mean, you could put a bigger chuck on this. Uh, I feel like this is a great machine. I mean, it's, it's butter smooth. Uh, you know, I don't really know. I can't really say anything bad about it. Um, like I said earlier in the one video, you know, the knob was the only thing I thought I could you know, if I was to complain about something, that would be it. You know, I could break that knob off there if I drop something on it. But other than that, I mean, this thing is solid. I don't know if this is 16 gauge or how thick this material is, but it's thick. Um, the little guy's heavy. I mean, it's probably 25, 30 pounds just itself. So, you know, the chuck chuck's heavy, but it, it's a very well-built positioner. Um, and I truly think that for most people, for doing... You know, small stuff, if you're welding two or three inch aluminum in your garage or intake tubing, you know, for race cars or whatever, nothing real big. Um, you know, I'm getting into some five and five inch and six inch stuff on some of these uh, high horsepower diesel trucks that we do. But at the end of the day, I mean, this is a great machine. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really glad to be working with them. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. Uh, Everybody like and subscribe and have a great day.